Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about dependent and independent events in probability. In our previous classes, we have done some examples on probability using combinations, probability using union. Please watch those classes. They will help you a lot in understanding this class. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. First, we are going to understand dependent events. Uh, we'll take an example and understand for better understanding. With example, we'll have a better understanding. Uh, two events, A comma B are dependent events. When we are going to say there's two, two events are dependent events, occurring of one event, event A, will affect the probability of event B. Then we can, we can say that the two events are dependent events. Now with example you will get clarity. A bag contains five black balls and six green balls. Randomly pick a ball from the, from the bag two times. So we have to pick a ball from the bag two times. That is what we have to do. So what's the events? Events A, B are saying that A first time should be a black ball. Even B says that a second time should be a black ball. So what happens if 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 you if you want to do this action if, if you want to do this experiment what happens first time it should be a black ball how many balls are there total 5 plus 6 11 balls are there total combinations are 11 c1 means our sample space is 11 c1 we can pick a ball the ball is having 11 c1 possibilities means our sample space these discussions were made in our previous class out of that how many black balls are there five black balls are there so 5 c1 by 11 c1 is our probability that we are going to pick a black ball in first time but if you if you consider the second time selecting black ball probability depends on first time selection means see if first time if you pick the green ball the probability that uh, second time it is going to you are going to pick a black ball is different because uh, if you pick a green ball from this how many balls remain total 10 balls will be there how many black balls will be there five black balls will be there first time if you select black ball how many black balls remain in that bag four black balls 4 c1 by 10 c1 is our next output second time it completely depends on our first event what happened in the first event that is what a dependent probability means dependent events means so how we find this dependency how we find the probability for dependent events will be discussed in our next class when we discussed about conditional probability we will go with conditional probability in this case we are going to discuss about conditional probability in our next class see here what we are doing here is first time when you pick a black ball you, you pick any ball so first time if you if you pick a ball we are not going to replace the ball again in the bag that is what this experiment says if you replace the ball again back then these two events are independent events because whatever happened here the probability of picking a black ball second time is not changing because of this event because we are replacing the ball again first time first time what's the probability to pick a black ball 5 c1 divided by 11 c1 second time what if you replace the ball again whatever ball you pick here it doesn't matter if you replace the ball again what's the probability that uh, second time you are going to pick a black ball 5 c1 by 11 c1 this event is not going to affect uh, the second events probability then we say it as independent events if you don't replace the ball it is going to affect the second one's probability if you replace the ball it is not going to affect the second one's probability if you don't replace the ball it is dependent events if you replace the ball it is independent events again we are going to understand independent events with one more example two events a comma b are said to be independent events occurrence of one event not affect the probability of other event then we say it as independent events best example to understand independent events is toss a coin two times when you toss a coin first time what's the events a b event says that first time should be a head b second time should be a head when we toss a coin first time what is the probability that it is going to be head one by two 
when you toss the coin second time what is the probability it is going to be head one by two it is not going to affect the probability of head second time because the first event is not dependent on the second second event is not dependent on the first event that's why there's two are independent events so when if if you are having independent events what's the how we find the probability probability of a and b occurring of both the events is given as a probability of a multiplied by probability of b so what is probability of a occurring of head for the first time is 1 by 2 what is probability of b occurring of head for the second time is 1 by 2 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 1 by 4 this is the equation for if you are having independent events probability of a and b both events to occur is equal to probability of a multiplied by probability of b so we'll go, we'll go the proof of this with an example so this is the independent events formula uh, without this formula if you try to do the example toss coin two times probability of both heads so what's if you toss coin two times what's our sample space head 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 tail tail head tail tail probability of head head is out of these four chances head head is having one chance so one by four here we got the same output so that's why this is what the equation for independent events for dependent events the equation is different we are going to discuss about conditional probability in our next class after that we are going to do many examples based on this conditional probability and remaining uh, examples also hope you understand the concept of dependent and independent events if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you